Hello and welcome to the Repeating Podcast. Uh, my name is Ayush, and we have Laksh, Naman, and Sagar on the podcast today. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Hey. We're recording at twelve in the morning. That's nice, where Naman is so dedicated that he's still in the office. <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the office, yeah. I've still not left the office. That's where <laughs> the night of Visarjan. We're sitting here while the entirety of Maharashtra submerges clay. Idols of Ganesh. Yeah. <laughs> I so it going better be worth our while. I swear. Yeah, yeah. We work on was our own. So Today was in the bank no, holiday. Yeah? No one had holiday. Today. Everyone was working. But from home. Huh, mm. Speaking of uh, bank well, holidays. Speaking. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Today's stock is also a bank. Yeah. The first banking stock we've covered ever. Actually, yeah. Uh, we've done Actually. insurance, but we've never done banking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've been averse to it because it's just a little bit of a drag. Yeah. But we have the <laughs> banking mastermind with us, Naman Jain. Naman Sajir. Even Naman was going to say Sajir. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going to say Sagar only. <laughs> Sagar himself doesn't like banking stocks. <laughs> it's a task, I don't know. Yeah. I don't but like this to is analyze a... banking stocks, but mm-hmm. I like banking yes. stocks. Investing in banking stocks. Yeah, this is a good banking stock that has doubled in the last one year. No. Yeah. And future, we can't tell you. Sorry to say. Yeah, because none of what we talk about is financial advice. And all the securities that we mention are not recommendatory. And this is all for education and advice uh, ed- eh? and entertainment. Entertainment purposes only. Ayush. Ayush. <laughs> huh. Entertainment purposes. <laughs> That's going to make the real for sure. <laughs> Go follow us on Instagram. Huh, but yeah, as you mentioned, doubled in the span of a year oh. and it's had quite an interesting history also i think in the past five years or so it's had quite years, a journey yeah. and it's been in the news also becoming one of the most among the <laughs> top 10 most valued banking stocks in recent memory and the name is, is i d d <laughs> <laughs> I D S D. Bro, that's what I was saying. You know, we can we can actually make that. I D S C. Oh, bro, that that better, that better make the real. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh God. That's, chal, that's, 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 we'll start that's, with podcast uh, quiz only. Yeah. Yeah. yeah chal, chal. What oh. Lux is the <laughs> full form of I D S C? This is only a Lux specific question because everybody else knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a guess now. You have to don't Google. I'm bored. No dirty behalf. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. I'll pass. We don't have all day. I don't know. I don't know. Indian something. No, Please okay. Stop. Indian. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Infrastructure Development yeah, Finance development Conference. Finance. That will be my next guess. Some Development Finance oh, oh. Because HDFC is also that also. Only, no? Housing and Development. National Housing. Population. This was for infrastructure. So as you can see, <laughs> or guess mm-hmm. from the name, this was yeah, yeah. formed yeah. To, for project financing of large infrastructure projects. Yeah. But Bahar, what it has landed up in bridge. is a bank. Banking. FD data, yeah, IDFC was uh, primarily formed so that it project uh, it does project financing for large infrastructure projects, uh, bridges and roads and power plants and anything related to heavy infrastructure. Um, and it was a NBFC. It didn't have a banking license, but obviously it had ambitions of becoming a bank since it was doing a lot of lending. Um, and then it applied for. Uh, a banking license, yeah, license, which it got in 2014. 
ओके सो पोस्ट इट्स बैंकिंग लाइसेंस आईडीएफसी डिविस्टेड डाइवेस्टेड इनटू इनटू अ न्यू फर्म नोन एज आईडीएफसी बैंक वेयर इन व्हिच दे वर येट मेजरली डूइंग कॉर्पोरेट कॉर्पोरेट लेंडिंग ओनली सो ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट टू इयर्स ऑफ the commencement of their business the idfc bank uh, they uh, they had two major uh, uh, npa selling off happening uh, which uh, amounted to total of 9000 crores what is an npa so, by the way is anyone can say no. just for the benefit of the viewer yeah yeah what is it like do you want to add oh lux koi puchna chahiye lux what is an npa for since the lux that's your quiz what's an non performing yeah, yeah. asset and what does that mean exactly in the context mm-hmm. of a bank that a loan that is not giving like if suppose you've given a loan and it's not repaying the loan then that's an np hmm. basically mm-hmm. so basically. a loan that's not getting repaid in its principal or interest yeah for at least 90 days over the due date then that's classified yeah. as an np that, so an NPA. more npa is a bad thing bad thing and npas yeah. are calculated in form of a percent i think of all the loans that the company mm. or the bank so basically to sum it up npas are like cancer they kill your bank slowly <laughs> yeah yeah but you Unless can remove the tumor and sell it off to a arc yeah yeah, yeah. Um, to an arc yeah what is an arc let's like, not use no no why lunch now you say <laughs> No, I ask no one. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Yeah, so uh, ARC, the full form known as an asset reconstruction company. So these guys, uh, these guys are uh, heavily funded by uh, major big corporation corporations. And what these guys do is they buy they buy these NPA and they uh, try to sell it off. They buy these NPAs from the banks and they try to sell it sell it off and mm-hmm. make money on these NPAs. It's like repackage and sell it off again. Yeah, yeah, together. repackage and uh, sell it off to uh, and make money. So basic. So, what happened in two thousand eight? Something like that. So no, two thousand sixteen. So it wasn't the work of ARC as such. No, no, he's talking about financial crisis. Yeah. Is that the same thing? Uh, no, it's not. No, no, no not exactly. Not. They want ARC. Like kind want the of. Problem. But they sold the same shit. They didn't. Oh, yeah. no, 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 so basically, was, ARCs don't necessarily mm-hmm. sell it off. That is wrong to say. Okay. Uh, they can even yeah. recover those loans and make money out of it. Huh. So okay. you buy bad loans. Uh, you try to recover money from those uh, and you keep uh, borrowers. Spread. And uh, if you you buy it for cheap because the bank is not able to recover them, and then you try yeah. to make more money or recover more money than you bought it for. How much ever more you make, you get. <laughs> Uh, so that's the basic rule. So nothing related to 2008. Uh, oh. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. So IDFC Bank had to uh, restructure uh, a few of the loans that they gave to, that they must have recklessly given out without uh, being yeah. very prudent about uh, checking around. Uh, so that was about. Uh, so their NPS actually went from about three and a half percent when they started banking operations uh, to seven percent within two years. Um, yeah. and that is when they reached a peak of uh, non performing assets and they had to sell off these two assets not two assets four or five or whatever number four. of loans amounting to 9000 crores uh, to improve their book 9000 crores crores yeah that's, that's a lot pretty bad yeah so then yeah. what happened so after that, that so as soon as they got uh, their license basically they fucked up <laughs> so yeah that's pretty bad <laughs> I mean that's you like know, every uh, teenager so now. You mentioned this. I think uh, right around this time. So I think in Pune when I was in college, right before this. So basically before 2018, wherever IDFC Bank had set up there, this thing, no one knew what IDFC Bank was. So everyone used to call it I don't fucking care Bank because of the news that was around this whole bad loan situation. Oh. Because they don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I didn't quite like their branding at that time. You know those uh, stupid colors that they were using. Mm, <laughs> uh, pink, orange. Logo. Yeah. yeah, 
yeah. pink orange yellow something else yeah. <laughs> which looked ugly i don't even give about the fact it used to look good it used to look good on the school but uh, apart from that it looked like <laughs> sh- yeah, yeah it's yeah. okay naman you were still in school and had nothing to yeah. do with back yeah, you were a fetus back then <laughs> <laughs> and sagar and sagar was working <laughs> Not in a bank, but had nothing to do with school. <laughs> oh my god! Just like that, Akshay Kumar. Yeah, but the uh, because... meme is there, like this. <laughs> it's like now yeah, I should but... speak because uh, Lux comes on to hmm. Sagar any which game. <laughs> no. Yeah, but coming back, as you so... mentioned, nine thousand crores worth of bad loans had to be offloaded to salvage. whatever was left yeah. of the company and i think yeah, so the, during that time so between i think this happened between 2016 and 2018 right yeah, yeah. post getting mm-hmm. the banking license yeah uh, <laughs> during that time the stock went down by about what 50% uh, because uh, yeah. of the entire Close turmoil to 50% because of all of this so the bank knew that they they were not doing well so in uh, yeah. uh, between that period as well they were in talks with shriram finance uh, to delve into retail banking Okay, but uh, apparently the merger didn't went through because uh, Shriram Finance and IDFC Bank uh, couldn't uh, uh, agree on a common set of merger ratio. Right. So basically, the commercials were something they couldn't reach a conclusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But so there was a good sort of after all of this bad rep, they th- they thought that the merger is the only option to salvage themselves. Yeah, because obviously oh, they didn't like, have any uh, experience. This uh, thing, more like moving from corporate to retail. I think not yeah. merging wasn't the solution. The objective was to pivot the book from corporate lending to corporate retail, lending. retail and, and reduce exposure to single large corporations. Um, I agree. But a merger would only facilitate that. Because without it, they have to start something from scratch, right? Which anyway scratch. didn't pan out. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So then, in the story came um, Capital First Bank, which was led by uh, P. Vedyan. It wasn't a bank; it was just Capital First. It was yeah, Capital That's First. So it was an NBFC, and it, uh, Capital First did pretty good uh, when it was an NBFC. So uh, during the in- initial years of the commencement, uh, Capital when was First this? had so a. When was this? Capital First came up when two thousand twelve. Yeah, yeah. it came up in 2012. So in the first year of the bank, the loan book, uh, the loan book was less than a hundred crore, and it right. went up to twenty five thousand crores in a very small period of time. Four That's years, right. to be precise. Yeah, no, no, two thousand eighteen. Twelve to eighteen. Oh, I thought it was before the right, loan right. book. Correct, correct. Eight years, yeah. Six, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Six years. Yeah. <laughs> so six years. But I think what's more interesting about the capital first story is that uh, so Vedan Nathan, as you mentioned, he was ex ICICI Prudential ka MD CEO, yeah, and he so he has that experience backing him and everything, and then he just dropped everything to start his own thing, and he actually so with his own money or right rather taking a loan off of his own assets, he had purchased like a considerable stake in an existing. Uh, NBFC at the time, NBFC oh, the name yeah. not been yeah, and he brought up their loan book from scratch, turned it around from being just a real estate centric uh, NBFC, and molded it molded it into one that gave out loans to SMEs, and SMEs. just as a proof of concept, within the first year, he had shown proof of about seven hundred and seventy crores worth of loans uh, being available for dispersal. Because of the amount of investment traction he was getting, so then he used this whole like buyout system and then started capital. Like it's a very interesting story of how he did it from scratch and then within six years, the loan book went from ninety two crores to what twenty five thousand crores. Twenty so five thousand. It should it should be a case study. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There is actually a, a Forbes article on uh, that then Nathan about uh, how he. It's supposed to be about. how he turned idfc into this banking legend uh that right. is uh 
uh, but the article has so much unnecessary information it's not really funny <laughs> like it's the most irritating article i've ever read um, <laughs> but, but for articles without any unnecessary information you also check out the repeating blog <laughs> Thanks for the brand plug in. Click down here. But I have a, a quiz from that uh, the Singha report. It has absolutely unnecessary facts about Vedanath. Uh, <laughs> one of them being, <laughs> what was what did he start his career as? Any guesses? Chai wala. No, yeah. All the chai walas do. Uh, uh, a bus conductor or a newspaper no. wala. I Maybe should. an RM or something. He would have had some kind of banking experience. No, he was. Hey, Indian. that peon, peon. What? Indian Air Force. Wow. Uh, oh, so he, does he have a designation? Like, is he captain or something like that? No, no. And then some injury happened to him, and then he, uh, yeah, that was his end of the military career. So oh, sometimes okay. I feel we entered the stream very normally, yeah. Like if you see, everyone who has made it big in the stream has some as a fucked up pass. And हम लोगों को भी बचपन में एक हाथ कटवा लेना चाहिए था या एक टांग में कुछ रोड डलवा देना चाहिए था. For the YouTube uh, copywriters uh, looking at this, we know we are not copying Nikhil Kamath's podcast on the reach. We see people because he no, said. No, but I'm that getting to there. I am getting to there. Huh. That you see, even on that podcast, that uh, yeah. who was that guy? But it's Ram. Ra- still... Yeah, Rajan. Rajan. Yeah, Rajan. <laughs> he also he also has a very dark past. Like dark past, as in a very sad but past. Again, bringing back to what he said in and quoting him in. It's not yeah, about that. You don't need, yeah. You don't need. Yeah, it's not conducive yeah. to success, but yeah. like how we keep mentioning, right? It's correlation, not causation. Ah, uh, that's what. It's that, and that's what he kept emphasizing. But, but Nikhil Kamath doesn't take no for an answer. So yeah, he kept but he's like, "Hey, nahi, matlab." Nikhil Kamath is basically like, "Dekho, agar aaj billionaire banna hai, to 20 saal pehle dekho bikhari banna hi ir padega." It's like that for him. करियर those ups and downs to every business will have right yeah 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 that's true. yeah yeah but the article also is very interesting as it goes on to say there's like this one line which i really loved okay it said a lean and balding straight shooter was <laughs> like why oh my god why do you bring this what did you comment on his body as <laughs> well who had a love for guitar and singing <laughs> when he was ready for the big kill in india's banking sector i'm like what that is so <laughs> There's some intern on Forbes team in the summer who's like, I have to bless my boss. Fuck this shit. Every word I know. Yes. Bad fuck. Gone. Yeah. 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 But chapter one is really do. Abe, I was plugging it in the R again. Ayush. We can't keep forcing it down the reader's throat also. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what luxurious bodice <laughs> opera is. Ooh, that's what she says. <laughs> <laughs> for no, for more non-veg jokes, please subscribe <laughs> <laughs> and check our previous. The grind never stops for the brand. I, swear, I, swear. I have another tagline to check the grind. Well done. Oh my Ooh. god! <laughs> But it's okay. That I can't say. But yeah, let's continue. We have only twenty-five minutes of record time. The question <laughs> would be: Ki, why did uh, Capital Flows agree to merge on the first place? Right? Yes. Would yeah. you like to elaborate on that? Yes. Why did Capital Flows merge? Yes. 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 Yes
it was an nbfc wow so uh, ha so nbfc basically couldn't uh, take advantage of the no cost uh, current account uh, deposits so they don't actually take deposits okay, so basically of, let's give some pre- like context there as well context to what an yeah. nbfc cannot really take deposits in like a normal bank does and that really restricts the amount of loans that an nbfc can give out as opposed to a normal bank with that license granting them access to current and savings accounts mm-hmm. to then take that and put it as loans to other people so yeah. they didn't have that opportunity continue so they didn't have an opportunity and for idfc bank they were already struggling with the bad loan book so uh, they needed to get into the re- retail segment and uh, capital first was looking for someone with a, a banking license as uh, rbi stopped uh, giving uh, stopped giving out banking license during that time like they used to reject the reject rate was around 50% yeah it was so they were finding someone who already had a banking license that's where idfc bank came in <laughs> So the merger so happened. Again, in- both of their problems were solved, right? IDFC solved, wanted yeah. to get into retail, and Capital First wanted to expand their retail. So uh-huh. they used each other in some way in this merger to create IDFC First Bank. <laughs> and this happened in 2018, right? Yeah, this happened in 2018. Because I remember, as I said, right, like next, right next to my college, there was an IDFC Bank. And then when I ne- went to the mm-hmm. next year of college, the logo changed, uh, the banner changed, you know, <laughs> almost overnight after that news. More inviting than IDFC. Much more inviting, lovely color and font. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 And surprisingly, the number of people that think so has gone up by I don't know how much percentage. Sixty uh, percent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. No, so ha, huh. huh. so what? <laughs> no, the re- retail deposits, for example, went from like fourteen thousand crores, thirteen thousand crores pre-merger to about one lakh crore. Uh, one lakh crore. Just so, because no, just because uh, of the fact that uh, Vedanathan comes in and um, he's got this aggression to... and experience in retail banking. and the fact that uh, now they have access to cheaper capital to do so so the aggression that capital first showed can be multiplied with a banking license and with uh, the existing brand of idfc uh, as as a bank or as a uh, erstwhile government entity uh, which has a longer history than capital first which is not known to many people um so yeah and they managed to do that retail shift also so uh, retail was about 27% of uh, the total book before merger uh, and that is now 70% 70% and amon bahut validate karta hai double double bol yeah ho echo tha uska echo rehta hai na this is just i just yeah 30% yeah 23 like ha bhai bol raha hai mere i mere yaar validate karte rehta hu okay thanks for the affirmation no that's a validation ha bhai what you are saying yeah yeah the boss is correct he must have done his research now to play the boss card and all then i will Yeah, but I think uh, so. You said their retail loan book went up by ten times. It yeah, by ten times. It made up for almost three fourths of the business compared to yes. about one fourth of the prior to the merger. And That's they also, I think, tripled more than tripled in terms of their physical distribution reach as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, more than tripled. Yes. Hey, shut up, yar. One more thing. Maybe two now. I'm like, no one is noticing only. <laughs> I didn't even notice that they're ignoring you. <laughs> yeah. Not damn rude, yeah, I'm hurt. <laughs> yeah. And I think one again one more important fact was as we mentioned before uh, current account and savings account. So prior uh-huh. to the merger or like at the time of the merger I think uh, current account deposits which is something that doesn't uh, entail an interest payment that the bank has to make so it's basically free money. in a way 
it was 13% of their entire retail deposits mm-hmm. at the time of the merger and then cut to 5 years later it's now 50% so that's an improvement obviously because that entails they can get low cost or no cost no deposits cost. that can then be turned around as retail loans i have a question so, yeah how much interest do you get on savings account it depends on I the time that you're taking the deposit out so at that time it was uh, lower and now it's become higher so but anyway the point was oh was that a part of your quiz or something sorry for spoiling yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry for spoiling no, no, it's fine it's fine your anyway, question anyway. <laughs> wrong just question. because sagar just on. because sagar got lower interest when he invested who is in this savings account is not an investment first of all yeah. i think yeah, we are and we the are, rate changes uh, and is applicable to all savings accounts it's not like a fixed deposit are okay yeah. <laughs> just let me have something <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's yeah, low it's incredibly low it's much lower than your fd yeah. was to answer your question so it's i mean although that is less in terms of how much interest they need to pay out to a customer it's still a cost mm-hmm. that they are incurring it for current yeah, account that doesn't exist at all that's true so that's great for them so a lot of good things happen out of the merger clearly so good idea five years went really well stock went up extremely well during that time as well so uh, yeah, so all this uh, yeah. growth in the reta- retail deposit the current account uh, casa ratio moving from 13 to uh, 50% uh, the loan book loan book uh, growing from 17% to 70% in the retail segment all of this uh, all of this had an impact on the company's ratios as well uh, so if we take a look on uh, the company's ratios like from 2019 to 2023 uh, the company uh, the re- return on asset ratio was a negative 1% in 2019 and it came up to 1% in 2023 yes uh, so uh, the re- return on equity was also a negative 17% which bumped up to 11% in uh, 2023 and i know it is do you guys want to yeah so do you want so that was okay so primarily like that's going to also be a function of um, how your costs and npas also are right so uh, the cost to income ratio uh, which lower the better because cost uh, should be lower compared to the income was 95% in fy19 but that moved to 72% in fy23 and then non performing assets which were at 1.2% went down to 0.8% but this 1.2 is also much better compared to all the 7% uh, absolutely low that they low, high that they had because of <laughs> their asset restructuring and all of that so overall i think um, the retail transformation does not only sound fancy and get their name out in public but also transforms the entire bank and its operations and that's the reason why the stock is uh, done so well so um, and reach the point yeah, so that uh, and reach the point where it's now the 10th um, largest in terms of uh, market cap uh, amongst all banks so a bank that didn't exist uh, before 2014 uh, which is less than 10 years ago uh, okay. is now the 10th largest bank uh, at least by market cap so that's that's like a huge huge deal <laughs> <laughs> it's such a bad. It's my this one you can put. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, will this upside continue in the future? We cannot. That continue. we can't say. <laughs> <laughs> But there's something new that's video. happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, so. Um, new news no, there's something new happening yeah, <laughs> so, yeah another merger this, but not that yeah, exactly. obviously not that ballistic not that uh, impactful not as uh, transformative and pivotal as the previous merger but definitely something that uh, will put the bank in better shape uh, compared to now and 
uh, what the management has been saying is pretty uh, impressive they're aiming for 25% growth every single year in deposits um, deposits nahi in whatever in credit growth 25% uh, credit growth for the bank every single year uh, in the near to medium term which is mm-hmm. crazy because that's like literally doubling yourself every uh, four years four. Um, and compared to less than four. competitors how much is that like how much is competitors that's at so far. the mm-hmm. Oh, that's... So the Indian overall credit uh, growth in India as a whole is expected to be at about fifteen percent. Oh, um, so the economy grows at six to eight mm-hmm. percent. Credit growth is at fifteen percent because India is under banked; it is uh, low on uh, loans uh, versus developed economies. So credit growth is faster at this point in time. So even right now, credit growth has been in double digits despite the interest rate hike that has happened uh, over the last few months. months so if credit growth for the entire system is 15 growing at 25 is like a clear indication of continued market share gains so it is likely to go from 10th position to further up the ladder uh, and facilitating that uh, or setting the stage for that is not just the fact that the merger benefits will still continue and vedanathan is this genius who will continue driving the growth uh, forward uh, but also um, the merger with idfc limited the parent itself so idfc limited uh, had a subsidiary called idfc first bank but now mm. there is a proposal for a merger between idfc limited and idfc first bank itself uh, the benefits of which i will leave to ayush yeah so i think first as you mentioned uh, the management seems to be very gung ho about it and that's for good reason i think operationally capital wise and just regulatory governance wise this seems like a better fit because it's just easier to manage that entity as one whole and it's come full circle right like this demerged back in 2015 to create this whole banking leg and now it's come back full circle uh, eight years or so later so that seems like a fairly good story bit at least one of the more intricacies of this merger would entail that so both entities are listed right idfc list the idfc limited which was just their infrastructure lending bit was listed on the markets and so was idfc first bank but in this case uh, all idfc limited shareholders for every 100 shares they own of the company they get 155 shares of idfc first bank because of some form of ownership that the limited version has over idfc first bank so that seems like a good shareholder value unlocking as they like to call it uh, which is like a second good reason and then a higher market cap i think they're expecting it to reach 85000 plus crores from the current 63000 crores of idfc first bank so this combined entity would entail more capital to its disposal it is also a good thing so yeah so the corporate like uh, structure would be simplified so they've sold the, their uh, mutual fund business to bandhan bank as well bandhan bank so right, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Pro- so now they are solely a big banking company yeah yeah plus the i think asset sale also got them about 600 crores in cash which now sits in idfc first uh, Yes, 600 crore uh, in IDFC <laughs> first <laughs> in IDFC first banks uh, cash, yeah. and uh, yeah. the merger also obviously gives them the ability to uh, raise more equity uh, or debt if they wish to, but equity. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they do wish to raise equity in the next half of the year uh, or by next year, uh, so that that equity can be further used to fuel more growth. Uh, so clearly, growth ambitions are very high and. Uh, that fueling can be done better because of the merger uh, now in place yeah so i think the merger news came out back in july and since then idfc limited stock has come up by 10% and uh, they're expecting the merger to take about a year so shareholders of either if they already currently hold it then could see some benefit just from momentum of news So, so does anyone else have 
anything to add about idfc or idfc first mm-hmm. match no they're doing some really good shit with uh, the credit cards now so the bangalore uh, yeah. t2 lounge uh, for example yeah. uh, mm-hmm. has only idfc cards and uh, some other i forgot which one but idfc is only one of the two cards that gives you free entry into that lounge which is so cool idfc to that particular lounge and, uh, statue yeah, yeah the t2 wala lounge that's and for cool. uh, for like if you want to get into the bombay lounge then which card should you have you can have any uh, no not any actually you you show the card there they mm-hmm. it depends on which grade of card you have yeah it's not about the bank crazy really. so even within a bank some cards are allowed some cards are not allowed just asking for a friend if you want to talk about that you should get into uh, another listed company called dream folks who manages this too. whole they manage oh, yeah. the whole yeah yeah that's all i heard about it, but i forgot the company ka name thank you for reminding me so you only get knowledge mm-hmm. and uh, yeah knowledge and entertainment side like for every side. yeah for everyone <laughs> over here <laughs> we do not discriminate between anyone <laughs> that's fact so yeah. and that's a rap yeah that's you can a... do it anyone can clap that's a rap <laughs> <laughs>